Today we have loaded up an African-American population into Pinnacle and uh, would like to share the results with you again. One of the things you're going to notice uh, with the African-American populations that you may or may not have known is the presence of Native American DNA and substantial Native American ancestry. Oftentimes, um, most, Native, most African Americans received this Native American ancestry, um, obviously from the eastern United States, and typically even more so um, the southeastern U.S. So you're going to have a very strong um, presence of Cherokee, which we know their deep ancestry comes from Canada, the Cree, and the Ojibwe of Michigan and Canada. And so you're going to see uh, a lot of that. And also, um, obviously, uh, the presence of Sub-Saharan African DNA, which is the primary component of the African-American genome. Uh, this particular African-American population, um, I believe, comes from California. And so I haven't taken a look at the information yet. All I've done is entered the alleles, um, and we're going to go ahead and hit Find Ancestry. And I'll walk... Uh, be seeing it as you see it. We'll walk through it together. Okay, so um, uh, up here at the top, I, you see this amplified Western European population. Um, that typically appears um, when there is about a 20 to 25 percent admixture of European, um, especially with the gradient the way it is between number one and number two right here, these two. Uh, there's not quite even a power of 10 um, between them. Um, and so that's telling me that the African American genome probably has somewhere between 20 to 25 percent um, African, um, excuse me, Caucasian ancestry. And um, just by looking at this, oh yeah, number three here you can see is Cree from Saskatchewan, Canada. Now, that's exactly what we were anticipating, is because, you know, when um, the migration waves from Africa came across uh, to the Americas, um, and specifically North America, and settled the southeastern and eastern U.S., one of the first tribes that they interacted with was the Cherokee. Um, and so you're going to see a very strong presence of Cherokee ancestry, and that's expressed here as Cree. So it could also be um, Iroquoian um, ancestry from further north uh, than the Cherokee, up uh, maybe from the Delaware, uh, or um, uh, even maybe a little further west than that, into Michigan or Illinois, Indiana, etc. And so that's really interesting to me to see that. Um, this absolutely has a high, very high percentage of uh, Native American ancestry. Uh, surprisingly high. That that would probably be um, the results. It's hard to tell for sure with STR markers. Well, it's hard to tell with any ancestry DNA test the exact percentages, right? We all know that um, a lot of these big box tests are missing people's Native American ancestry pretty profusely, in fact. But I would say that uh, this number three here, this third match down, the Cree from Saskatchewan, Canada, mixed with Bantu, of course, the Bantu people from Africa, that is the largest spoken language, uh, root language, in sub-Saharan Africa. And the Bantu people, uh, the Bantu language speaking people, originated from Nigeria um, back in, um, oh goodness, thousands of years ago, I believe, and then migrated out, um, uh, specifically south and southeast uh, to the African Great Lakes and then south towards Namibia. So along the western coast of Africa, um, which is why so many African Americans receive Bantu matches uh, in their, in their um, DNA results. And also, as you can see here, uh, mixed with Native American. I would say that, judging by this, that this particular African American population has roughly an eighth Native American. 12% uh, would probably be um, a pretty good guess here. Um, and going down the list, the first sub-Saharan African, the first pure sub-Saharan African population we run across is from Mo Mozambique. And that's obviously in Southeast Africa. But what that's expressing is the Bantu migration 
um, from the tropical West Africa um, down south and then southeast um, as I previously mentioned. So that's right on target and then we see um, the Bahamas. We see Cree and Saskatchewan, Canada and Guinea-Bissau and then the Bahamas. Now why would it say Bahamas? Well the migrations from Sub-Saharan Africa came through there and also um, the uh, natives, the, um, the African Bahamians, they have significant Native American ancestry also. And so genetically, um, not only are they related, but their entire genome is genetically similar. And so their entire broad painted picture, if you can imagine, is very similar to that of this African American population we're looking at now. So if we continue on down the list, we see Mozambique again, then Equatorial Guinea, um, two Equatorial Guinea populations. Um, that's, that's really interesting. And further down, more Mozambique. Here's Ojibwe from uh, northern Ontario, Canada, mixed with Guinea-Bissau. So I believe this particular African-American population was indeed um, had Cherokee ancestry, looking at um, or some form of Iroquoian. Um, stock by looking at their their um, regions of Native American hits that you're seeing pop up here. Uh, if you go further down you can see uh, Benin and Muscogean which we know the Muscogean speaking people were from the southeastern US. So um, even though this particular uh, African American population is from California you can see that the effects um, of the relationship to the uh, Cherokee people or Iroquoian people, uh, Native American of the Eastern United States is certainly present. Um, and it looks to me like the European ancestry, remember we mentioned that the European ancestry is roughly about 20 to 25 percent. I would say that it's um, Europe in the form of Scotland, France, um, so Western Europe. Um, and one interesting thing about the UK is that uh, the United Kingdom is I don't oftentimes receive very many people that score really high on the matches from the United Kingdom. I'm not really sure why that is other than back in the medieval period there was a large number of uh, French people from the northern coast of France that left and went to um, uh, the UK and settled there. And so a lot of people that have um, English ancestry, it comes back French. So that's interesting, especially like northern France in that area. So that's another little tidbit. So the African-American population here, the ancestry is from Western Europe, which you could imagine that would be the case. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really fun population here. Neat to look at all this. If you go down further, you can see Haiti pops up. Of course, we know that that was that probably came a little bit later. Um, that the that the results from that that it, that's just indicating um, maybe not necessarily later, but that's just indicating the relationship between the native Haitians or between the modern day Haitian people and the African American population we're looking at now. So I hope this helps a lot of you. Um, again, the breakdown, the genetic breakdown um, of the African American people involved in this population uh, study were um, roughly about 20-25 percent um, Caucasian in the form of Western European, um, about 65 to 70 percent um, uh, Sub-Saharan African, and roughly about 15, 12 to 15 percent Native American. So I sure hope this helps and I'll be back with more videos real soon. Y'all take care.